The CDC predicted 480,000 deaths from smoking this year compared to yeah. COVID-19, which will be one quarter or less of that. Now, uh, you're talking about one quarter or less of deaths that have that stamped on their death certificate. Even folks at the CDC are now saying that over 90 percent of people who are, quote unquote, died of COVID are they, they had very deep and serious underlying conditions. So really, well, that's uh, that's many, many times that. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. If if, if Dr. Burks is saying the CDC is exaggerating the numbers. I mean, she came out and said, this is a quote, I gotta read it to you. Dr. Burke said, there's nothing from the CDC that I can trust. Quote, in cases where a definite diagnosis of COVID-19 cannot be made, but is suspected, the circumstances are compelling within a reasonable degree of certainty. It's acceptable to report COVID-19 on the death certificate as probable or presumed. That's from the CDC. That's what Burks is mad about. In other words, hospitals get paid more for COVID deaths than regular deaths. Emergency responders, doctors, and so on are getting grants because it's hazard pay. But the problem is it encourages them to create false causes of death, which is why one of the leading experts in the country is saying, I don't even trust the CDC anymore because they're allowing COVID-19 as a death cause where it may not be. Look, if you've got COVID-19, Kent, and God forbid you get hit by a car, you can't put COVID-19 on the death certificate, but they're doing it. Yep. And of course, you know, they're making a fortune doing it. Unbelievable stuff. Well, we know where Dr. Uh, Dr. Bricks, uh, where she uh, sets in all this stuff. At least she's copying to 25% of the erroneous numbers coming out of there.